Hey everybody, today is Tuesday, January 16th, 2024 in sunny San Diego, California, and I'm Captain Perry here with you. If you're new to the channel, behind me here is a scow bow mini cruiser that I'm building. Basically my mission here is to build a strong, trailerable, 14 foot sailboat that's watertight and custom built to cross oceans. Now today, to start with, I've got five items I want to start installing or not actually installing, but doing the drill fill drill for the holes that'll mount them into the bulkhead. So one is gonna be a battery switch. Another one is a circuit breaker. I believe it's, uh, yes, yeah, 50 amps. And then a custom fair lead made out of stainless that a longtime patron member and friend of mine, Mike, made. So thank you, Mike, for that. This will redirect the main sheet coming out of the main bulkhead and direct it down 90 degrees and into the cam cleat that I've already installed in a previous episode. And then I've got uh, two hand holds like this. I'll show you later where those are gonna go. And yeah, that makes the five components. And then the last thing I wanna try and fit in this video is installing the port side combing deck. So we'll get into all that. But first, if you're new here, please do me a favor, make sure you subscribe, help me get to my 10,000 subscriber goal. All right, let's get to work. Okay, first up is the circuit breaker and the battery switch. And you wanna locate these nearby the battery. This requires two screws to install and this one four bolts. But instead of having to drill six holes in the bulkhead, I figured I'd do a little mounting plate and then just install it with two big bolts. So that way I only have to drill two holes. This is some HPDE that I have in about 3 8 inch or 10 millimeters thickness. So this is the shape I wanna cut out. I've already marked it up a little. And these will go right about here. Then I've got some bolts that'll work for this. These will go here and I will mount it onto the main bulkhead down in the battery box. First, I'm gonna cut two quarter inch holes for these bolts. Next is two tiny little holes for the circuit breaker. These are for screws, so they're not going all the way through. Perfect. All right, and then the battery switch comes with these bolts. which are a little bit bigger than those screws. So I need four of those holes. I'm using a lower drill speed so I don't melt the plastic. On the back here, I need to make a about three millimeter recess in these four holes to hide the nut. And then I'll have to cut the bolt off so that this is all flat and can be bolted flush against the bulkhead. All right, next I need to remove five millimeters off these bolts so that they'll be flush on the back. You can see I've done a little black mark where it needs to be cut. All right, there's the next three cut. And of course you want to make sure before you cut any bolts that you thread the nuts on 
and that helps fix the threads when you take it off. Okay, in the cabin here, this is the main bulkhead, and down here we have the battery box. So I'm gonna have one large lithium battery that ties down into these mounts I glassed in. I've got a hole here for wires to go through, and that battery switch panel I made will go right here. I've drilled a small hole here and here. Now I'll put in a bigger hole. So that initial hole is drilled, and then next over here, we've got a hole where there'll be a stainless tube installed, which I'll put an image up on the screen here of what I've made for that. The main sheet will come through here, and then the stainless fair lead that I showed you earlier is going to mount right here. And I didn't drill this all the way through. It's not going to have forces trying to pull it out in any tremendous way. So. I haven't drilled all the way through. I just drilled to where the skin is on the other side of the foam, and I'm gonna embed a couple nuts right there in the middle. All right, and last up, I've got these holes where this hand hold is gonna be. Need to drill this last one. Okay, now I'm gonna take the extra foam out around the hole. All right, maybe you can see in here, I've got about the diameter of a quarter of the foam hollowed out in there. Let's see if I put the light behind it. Usually you can see. Yeah, there we go. That gives you a good view. Then we replace the core with thickened epoxy so that when you put pressure on anything, it can't compress the foam. All right, and there's four more holes in C5 for the grab bar that's going to go on the opposite side of this main bulkhead out on the aft deck. All right, you can see I've attached the combing deck with thickened epoxy all along here. And then for now, just up forward, I added this fillet and two layers of 10 ounce cloth and a layer of six ounce cloth. In another episode, 
we're going to fill this in, this kind of triangle. Okay, it's the next morning, and the filled holes have turned out very nicely. One little trick I like to do is when I fill them up, I go through and I put a uh, popsicle stick that's been broken in half, and I just push the epoxy into all the recesses to make sure I get it all in there. And then I add a little more and just wipe it off like that, put the tape over it, and you get a perfect fill that way. The next step is going to be to drill pilot holes through here. Okay, and now the fun part, we get to dry fit this and see how it looks. Here's the dry fit of the grab bar on frame C4. There's my main sheet Fairlead installed. The line will come from the aft deck through the hole over the Fairlead and then down to a cam cleat here. And last of all, let's do a dry fit of this circuit breaker slash battery switch panel. There we go, that looks pretty darn cool to me. Well, I gotta say I'm feeling very good about the progress lately. A lot of good things got installed inside the boat, or actually dry fit, then removed and packed away until after paint goes on and I can install them. After the video ends, I'm gonna round the edges of this where the side of the hull and the transom meet this panel, and I'm gonna fiberglass it, as well as making this kind of triangular flat piece. If you'd like to support the project, there are links in the description for ways to do that, like the Amazon wish list, direct contributions towards PayPal, and of course through Patreon. And a big thank you to everyone who has signed up for Patreon. I really appreciate that. And if you would, please leave a comment. Let me know what you thought of the episode. Give it a like. And I will see you guys in the next one. Support all the big operations are getting on the way. Hey, uh, what's that one? Home. Uh, Come and get back to your station or I'll have you shot from here. Well, shoot some. Uh,